This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. Let's talk about it, man. And Go this ahead, fight right he here, knows. I don't want to hear it. If you're a YouTube channel, like Earl the Truth Spence is training right now, while Terrence Buck Crawford is running his rabbit ass mouth, you need to pick a side. You need to be definitive. None of this Barack Obama flip-flopping. Let me say it again. None of this Barack Obama flip-flopping. We can't have this. Not for this fight. Not for the magnitude of this fight. Not for everything that's on the line. If your motherfucking rabbit ass is from Texas, you better show some Texas pride. If you all about tactical aggression, you better be all about tactical aggression. If you're all about technical punch and placement, you better be about technical punch and placement. And if you're all about body snatching work, the levying onslaught of the punishment style, you better be all about body snatching work, the levying onslaught of the punishment style. I don't want to hear no nonsense. I don't want to hear no classic dote and troglodytisms. I don't want to hear no Rudy Poo and Plum Plum Brainisms. I don't want to hear no dodo fucking headisms. I want to hear you pick a fucking side. We don't do 50-50 over here. It's 100-0. I see motherfuckers all over YouTube, all over social media talking about that, but they forgot he knows everything was the one that was so deep and profound that brought that term. Let me say it again. Because again, what I said was so deep and profound. So hear me, hear me, motherfucking. Well, I'm the one that brought 100-0. I brought that Florida swag because in Florida, we 100-0. See, if Earl the True Smith was from Florida, we would have rocked with him. That's why I rock with Keith Thurman. Even though Keith Thurman didn't fucking win, I rock with him because I showed my Florida pride. When you from Texas, you better show your Texas pride because I know some cats that's from Texas. And they ride or they die when it comes to Earl the True Spence from a boxing standpoint. They show their real G-isms. They show their super real G-isms. They show their ultimate real G-isms out here in these boxing motherfucking streets. So I don't want to hear, oh, I think Earl the True Spence is going to stop Terrence Crawford, or I think it's going to be a decision. No. Lay a pick, make a pick, double down on that bad boy with confidence and fortitude, and lay on that motherfucker. Let me say it again. Make a pick, double down on that bad boy with confidence and fortitude, and lay on that motherfucker. If you with Earl the True Spence, then it's man down strap season all day, every day. At minimum, you should be saying TKO stoppage. That's for the real Earl the True Spence fans. The fake as fuck one's gonna say decision. And if you're a Terrence Buck Crawford or Fudgy Wawa barking behind that damn fence fan, then I expect you to say fish fry and to say all of these Earl sexuals and all of these third grade vernacular, third grade language that makes no fucking fucking sense and sounds like the emasculated males, the beta males, the mama's boys that you are, the fatherlessness, you want to fucking name it, you, the lack of an active father, the lack of a father figure, the lack of a father role model, the lack of a father in the fucking home. If you want to say the vernacular, you can say it however you want to say it. I expect that from you guys. Because fatherlessness is your first, middle, and last name. Let me say it again. Fatherlessness is your first, middle, and last name. So I expect that. But when it's all said and done, Terrence Will Crawford is talking while Earl the True Spence is tactical aggression training. Terrence Will Crawford is talking while Earl the True Spence is <laughs> technical punch and placement training. Terrence Will Crawford is talking. While Earl the True Spence is body snatching, working, the levying onslaught of the punishment, styling, training. Because at the end of the day, it's about alpha molding and training. So you got to ask yourself in this question, if you're rocking with Earl the True Spence, then you're rocking with the alpha lane. If you're rocking with Terrence Buck Crawford, you're showcasing the beta that you are. This fight right here shows you the delineation, the distinction, the gulf, and the separation of who are alpha males and who are fucking beta males. I'm making this very fucking clear. Because so when it's all said and done, if you want smoke, it's free, but you can't smoke for free. So you have to ask yourself, who you going for? Lay on that pick, double down on that bad boy, and lay on that motherfucker with confidence and fortitude. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. I keeps the foot on the what? On the geeks. I keeps the foot on the what? On the geeks. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.